We gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this together. God love is always with you, even when you hurting, and it's okay to cry. It's cry sometimes and get that pain out. Testing one two one two. It's been a long day. You just wanna go away. You can't sleep at night, and now I'm here. I can't promise tomorrow, but you're gonna feel out a day. We can tingle it away. Now I'm here. Welcome back to the Ace Mata Chew. I'm hoping that you enjoyed the vlog today. I have some new footage and I have, well actually all the footage is pretty much new. Some of the footage that I'm going to share on the vlog were between Dream's birthday and at the time I wanted to kind of keep the vlogs kind of limited because I didn't really have like a lot of time and I kind of saved them. So you want to see a couple, maybe a few footage between those times. I know I didn't put up a vlog last week. I took about, I think, three to four days off just to rest up, regroup, get my body restored and my mind back to thinking, feeling refreshed. Because it's been, it's been a long three years it's been a long year but this year is already 2022 is just like flying by here the months come in they in and it out just like that and but so much happened within the month and I knew that I needed to take time off to get me some rest plenty of rest so I can feel good about what I'm doing and feel better throughout my day so that's what I did I took off one of the reasons why I took off because I did get bit by a mosquito so I was feeling like really really exhausted really tired and I was not feeling good and it took a, a toll on me and I knew that jumping back into things will make things worse so that's why I took off but I got a lot of y'all comments y'all comments were so beautiful and some of y'all just really was worried and missed me and I'm sorry that y'all was worried, but I did tell y'all that I was going to, I told y'all, y'all probably don't read my voice, but everybody don't watch like all of the, the videos, like everybody have their thing. Some people like the eating, some people like, like word search and stuff like that. Some of y'all love the vlogs, but I did tell y'all in the makeup video, one of those makeup videos a while back that I was going to be taking some time off. And uh, shortly after that, I took some time off. It was about two days later I took some time off because I was, I was, I couldn't do, I couldn't go on without pulling myself together and getting plenty of rest. But Dream enjoyed his birthday. I enjoyed Dream's birthday. Nadine enjoyed Dream's birthday. And now we're in May. And Mother's Day is literally around the corner. Like it is literally here. So. I don't think Dream's going to be around for Mother's Day, but me and Nadine are planning on doing like some relaxing stuff. I don't want to really do much of anything on Mother's Day or my birthdays. Those are the days that I'm just pretty much going to be chilling. And today I cook uh, red rice. I, I use a new brand, so it's a little different. It, it doesn't taste like the brand I normally use, but it's it's. It's good, but it seems drier. Maybe I needed a little bit more water, but also I cooked some snow crab, some dungeon crab, and I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna eat that with y'all for ASMR. This looks so good. I'm about to tear it up, tear it up. Let's help oil and butter and hot sauce. Ooh, that looks so good. Oh, smoking up the lens a little bit. We got boiled eggs, dungeon crab, snow crabs. It's supposed to be red rice. I'm trying a new brand. So it came out calm. It looked black to me, but child. Oh, I'm going to tear this food up tonight. 
So if you into like the eating and the crackle sounds and stuff like that, y'all can check out that video. I talked to uh, Dream just a little bit. So we're looking forward to seeing him whenever he show up. He might show up after Mother's Day and that's quite all right. I really don't want to do much. <laughs> I really don't want to do much or anything, but I, I don't mind spending time with my children, just hanging out, hanging out with them. But I don't want to be doing a whole bunch of walking. I don't want to feel like I'm exercising. I don't want to feel like I'm working. I just want to feel totally relaxed, like seriously. <laughs> I did my makeup today. I'm loving the, the new stuff. The birthday cake eyeshadow that is really pretty. That's what I have one today, right here. And then I have like the Juvia's like a wine color right here. And this come from the Juvia's like a lavender under here. Nadine did my hair in a ponytail, which is so cute. She did so good. I didn't know how my head was gonna get into a ponytail, it was just like poof. Like I conditioned it real good, and it was just like so. Child, I gave up on it yesterday. I was going to twist it. I was going to do something to it. But I just, oh, I just did not feel like being bothered. It's about time for a new week. Uh, maybe next week. I don't even feel like being bothered with doing too much. I don't know what it is. Could be just, it's, it's like Mother's Day is close. So I ain't really trying to do much or anything. <laughs> not trying to do much or anything. Now, I think this weekend I might get like a... I cream Sunday and I'll eat that for y'all for ASMR or something like that. I did do a nice little role play for y'all, Mother's Day role play, relaxing role play. Just bringing Mother some relaxation. I did a couple of things. Now, today is for me, today is Thursday. It's the end of the week already. And I'm just like, wow, the weekend's going to be here and it's going to be gone. Then Mother's Day is going to be over with for me. Definitely want to thank y'all again for all of y'all beautiful comments. All of y'all comments. I really appreciate y'all. And enjoy the rest of the vlog. And I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best. I keep looking over there because I know that I turned the oven off. But it looks like it still might be on. Hmm. Huh. Not sure. But it smells good up in here, y'all. Them crabs smell real good. Oh, they smell so good. Y'all yeah. <laughs> will see... You know, down, I'm in the future right now, so y'all see as the vlogs go on, when we went and got crabs and everything, I cooked them up today, fixing me and Nadine some uh, early dinner, because I plan on going to bed early. Thumbing up the video, yes. Thank you in advance for that, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe if you like the channel, only if you like the channel, like, you don't, you don't really care for the channel, it's okay. But for the, the people that love the vlog, especially the vlog watching, y'all love the vlog, make sure you subscribe and turn the notification on. And again, add the vlog, add the playlist, the vlog playlist. Hmm. Yeah, it's in there. I got, that, got a playlist in there for the vlogs, but maybe about two or three of them. Make sure you add at least one of them. So that way, whenever I add a vlog, if you will know it, you won't have to come look for it, search for it, anything. It'll be in a playlist for whenever you're ready for it. I had like a relaxing day. I really did and I usually get I, I got up late I didn't get up early and I'm going to bed early tonight I just feel like I just don't feel like I don't know what it is it feel like a Wednesday but Wednesday is gone I think I'm just feel like um things are kind of like in slow motion today I'm kind of like moving calmly moving slow don't want to do much or nothing just want to watch some Netflix if I can find me something I don't binge watch on everything child I watch everything. So now, mm, oh child, oh I forgot I had these earrings on. Ain't they cute? These are so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take these earrings off right after I eat y'all. Anyway, enjoy the rest of y'all vlog, the rest of y'all day, and mainly enjoy the vlog. And I will see you in the vlog. Hey y'all, happy AM, hey. I always smile when I turn on the camera, no matter how bad I'm feeling, because I know that I'm speaking to my people, my spirit of lights. Yes, I know that y'all there. Okay, so Nadine made her a big thing of basil tea. I haven't told y'all about that yet. 
The basil tea is absolutely delicious. Nadine boils the basil and she makes the tea. She makes it cold or hot and it's absolutely so good. I'm at Dunkin's now getting me uh, a large decaf drink. I need something on my stomach. I, I want to eat. I don't know what I want. I just don't want nothing like sweet or anything. I want some food. I'm just, my stomach is really, really hungry. I can feel the hunger. And then being at Dunkin' Donuts don't help because when, when I'm at Dunkin' Donuts, I just want, you know, some old-fashioned donuts. Thank you. You too. And look, Nadine, I told Nadine she, she put the energy in me to come to Dunkin's because she got her big old Dunkin' uh, container that Dunkin' sent us, y'all. Yeah, so her container is so freaking cute with her basil tea i'm telling y'all you could drink basil tea in time i'm gonna tell you, when she first told me she was making basil tea i was like um is it gonna taste like soup <laughs> and she said shockingly that it did not she loved it she was drinking it way before i even tried it when i tried it last night i was oh i was impressed i was like wow I feel like god gave me another gift that's what i felt like y'all i'm gonna talk to y'all when i get to the next stop okay so we some early birds everywhere we go place is not open not ready yet and we don't realize how early we be because we be out the house literally this morning for some reason i don't know how we did it but we was in the car by six o'clock okay and then wherever i had to go i still um i got to sit and close my eyes for about 15 minutes i should have talked to y'all but i i didn't have like the capacity energy to do it so First thing I want to say is Sarah, Sarah uh, Bull, Sarah. I just want you to know that I love you. I'm sending out uh, so much love to you. And I'm, I'm so sorry that you're missing your dad right now. I know how that feels. My father is gone. Rest in peace. I, I just want to hug you and just let you know that I love you. And that the spirit of life shall pray for Sarah because she's just mourning and she feels that ache and that, that pain of loss. And she just, she said she just couldn't stop crying. And I, I definitely know how that feel. I try not to think about my loved ones that I have lost, but just know that they're, that they with you sometimes and, and that they're a much grander position and place than we are. And that they're at peace. We're here, but we have to feel the pain and the sadness of missing them. God bless you. And that God love is always with you, even when you hurting. And it's okay to cry. It's okay to, to, to cry sometime and get that pain out so you can start healing. So I pray for healing for you. And just want to let you know that last night, me and Nadine, we thought about you. You was on our mind last night and when we woke up. And also, you know, thinking about Flower Kish, you know. I know I died. Flower Kish lost her mom. I love you. I love all of y'all. I love you, Flower Kish. And for anybody out there that's dealing with so much loss, you know. I deal with stuff, loss of spirit of light side. So since I've been ASMR at you, I have known of a few that, that has been a part of our family, been a part of our community, has been you know like my sister my friends do everything oh my god my battery is like literally saying spirit i'm about to go i'm so sorry i did i should have i was irresponsible i was too tired to put the battery in the wall last night i should have did it but i just i just want y'all to know that we gonna get through this we're gonna get through this together you know i love y'all and and when you feel so sad sometimes you know that you are connected to me and you know what kind of person I am if you just put in your mind that I gave you a big hug believe in God or whatever you you know believe in for comfort as far as like God or spiritual uh feel the comfort around you that you're not a alone and I, I'm telling you you're not alone and I know you're not okay there's a lot of stuff that I wish I could tell y'all, but there's some stuff I just don't talk about because there's so many people who would twist and turn and, you know, misunderstand or make assumptions about it. And um, so there's just some stuff that I could tell y'all and there's some stuff I just can't tell you. But, you know, as a spiritual person, 
you you probably will experience some stuff, you know, one day. I'm very sensitive to stuff. Very, very sensitive stuff. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, like, I literally wish that I, I really, like, literally, me and my children have experienced some things together that was um, phenomenal or different. That was not a part of, like, the physical, but it was it was there and we can hear it. And we all was there at the same time when stuff like that happened. So, like, I literally got my, like, I got proof. Nadine got proof and Dream got proof that we're not alone, okay? And that's all I can tell you. Like, I know you're not alone. I'm telling you, you're going to be okay. I know it hurts right now. A lot of times, sometimes we might be lonely. Sometimes we lonely even when we with another person because even the, sometimes being with a person may not uh, fulfill you, may not understand you completely. And you start to feel lonely inside, just feel like you're so alone. You're not alone. Rather, you with somebody or you by yourself, you are not alone at all. But you, your experience is yours. Your journey is yours. You have to live this life the best way you possibly can. You do everything you can because you're going to look back on things when you're no longer a part of the physical body and you have to love the body because the the body's giving you a chance to experience life so whatever body you in whatever uh whoever you are that this the, the flesh is a part of the world but you need to love it just as much as you love like i love this blouse i love my children uh, I love my spirit of lights. I love I love uh, uh, all of the things that, that life has to offer me. And I appreciate. Not only do I love the, the flesh and the body. I appreciate the body being, letting me be able to live out my life experience in it. You know, and because of the body and the way that I look, the way that I sound, the way that I am. I do experience, experience some stuff. But without the body, I probably would not have experience. And that it gives me compassion uh, for other people. See how people treat me in so many different situations. It doesn't make me dislike or hate people. It makes me want to be even a better person for people out there that might be going through some of the things that I go through, you know, people may look at me as I may not be feeling good or I'm going through some things like, you know, I had this incident and I deal with a lot of pain. And when the pain is irritating me uh, and pulsating like today, I'm dealing with pain, like just pain, you know, then my whole body start to go through stuff. So I don't move as I normally move. I can't be as physical as I normally be in physical because my body is trying to figure out how to heal me. So they look at me in assumption that gives me a chance to have compassion for people who may be actually every day, all day and get treated a certain way. So with that said, appreciate the body that God has blessed you with because the body is giving you a chance to experience some things. And when you experience some things, it's what you do with it. What you gonna do with it? How you going to use it? Instead of being angry and mean and mad at people who, who treat me wrong because they looking at who I am. Um, I'm a woman and then I'm a black woman and then I'm not my best as far as some days I'm not feeling good. So I'm more like I, um, I walk slow or um, I used to walk with a limp. I don't walk with a limp no more. Hallelujah. Thank they you made guys. me a green smoothie, y'all. It looked good to me. It looks so delicious. She said she forgot the chia seeds, but I had chia seeds yesterday. I probably, um, I just like threw a few of chia seeds in my drink. She said she got the pulp in this. This is good. It tastes like pear. It's avocado. I don't know if it's kale in here. Yeah. It's kale, avocado, pear, and banana, y'all. It's good. Mmm. Mmm. It's supposed to be for health reason. But I feel like it's just, this tastes good. I'm enjoying it. I'm editing the vlog right now. 
Child, sit here so relaxed. The vlog got me relaxed. I said, how the vlog get me so relaxed? I'm editing and feeling so relaxed, y'all. I'm so ready to lay down. Good AM, spare the lights. I am up. I'm up late. You can see right there, it is 10.25. Oh, yeah. You know what? I forgot to charge the camera, but I am drinking a new smoothie this morning that they've been made. It is made up of uh, chia seeds, kale, spinach, bananas, apples, and pears. Mm, and it tastes really good. I don't, I don't know if I'm missing anything else. Am I missing anything else? Grapes. Grapes. So there you go. Good morning, Spirit of Lights. Good a.m. It's such a beautiful day. We got the blinds open. We got the sun shining through the house. And they then made me a new drink this is a blueberry ginger nutmeg turmeric i think something else is in it i can't remember right now but oh my god i've been feeling so wonderful i've been getting this drink for the last three four days and i've been feeling so good i'm about to do an asmr video using the gelatin because i like jello i haven't had jello in a couple of years now maybe three years as far as like eating making it myself maybe four but i'm gonna get the gelatin and i'm gonna put it in this cute little bunny tray isn't that cute oh 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 so cute i'm gonna work on that for y'all bring y'all some asmr yeah i hope you enjoy the week. I hope you had a wonderful week and welcome. Welcome back to the vlogs. Yeah. Ooh, look at the box, y'all. That's pretty. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Oh my God, Dream gonna love it. Okay, spare the lights. Ooh, it's still early. Literally, it's not even nine o'clock yet. So I'm stopping at Starbucks. I think I want a grilled cheese. I might not get nothing to drink because I might stop at like Dunkin' Donuts and get me a decaf coffee or something like that. I, I, last night I was too tired. I didn't make Dreams cake. He just wanted like a Betty Crocker cake or, or Pillsbury. I didn't make it. I might still make it. I'm going to go pick up a small yellow cake and chocolate for him. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up one. Because I am tired now. I didn't expect to be doing no ripping and running today. But I am. I'm already doing it. I got. Uh, I supposed to go. Me and Nadine was going to go get the cake. And um, we was going to go buy a birthday outfit. 
but then you know I found something to wear today which I'm wearing now which is I think it's cute I, oh I got these cute pants on they real cute let me show you the pattern you see the pattern look how cute they are oh child it's real cute the pants are really really cute and then Nadine got her little outfit on. She had bought an outfit a while ago that she never wore. So she was like, ooh, she looked real cute too. So we ready for Dream. Yeah, we supposed to meet him, meet up with him at 9. We supposed to go get our feet done. He going to get his nails done. His nails are so beautiful. Um, he keep them up. They're very maintenance. And then I think we're doing, oh, yeah, we're going to go get his birthday gift. His birthday gift. He told me what he wanted yesterday. <laughs> so y'all gonna find out what dream getting for his birthday but we're gonna have to stop by Kroger's and get him a cake or um, I don't want to do a bakery because I don't want nothing real big I just want to do something um, kind of small not too much because you know dream pretty much gonna be eating that cake by himself because I was gonna make a sugar-free one and a regular one we'll see we'll see oh that alarm is still ringing in my head y'all it really is it is ringing in my head Oh, I got to wake up. I need something to wake me up. I really do. And then once I wake up, I'm going to be so excited that we celebrate Dream's birthday. Isn't that exciting? Mm. I hope I get me a grilled cheese this morning. I really do. Mm -mm -mm. Nadine, what do you think you want? I wish I could get the avocado dip. Oh, Nadine could eat it. I can't. Ooh, hey, so you get a choice at our Starbucks. I think I can help you today. Can I have two grilled cheese? Two grilled cheeses? Let me see if I still have enough for those two grilled cheese. Ooh, goodness, he got my last two grilled cheese. Okay, great. Yeah, so okay. two grilled cheeses, anything else for you? Yes, can I please have an avocado spread and a water? Just one avocado spread? Yes. One avocado spread and a water, anything else for That'd you? That'd be it, thank you. And have any, oh, that'll be 1488, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I saw that iced chocolate. I wanted one, but I was thinking like it might got a lot of sugar in it. I, I want to ask, but they, they say it don't have sugar. I mean, like someone told me that it's, stuff don't have sugar in it, but it comes with it already sweet. And then, but you could tell them don't add sugar because every like it already has sugar in it. I think I'm not sure, but that chocolate look good. Almost made me want chocolate milk, y'all. I know I still have me some you who wants to love you. Yeah. I need me something to drink. Nadine got her water, and I need me a hot coffee. That's why I need a hot decaf. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Mm. Okay, spare lights, I'm hitting the road again. Mmm, I got a call a dream, hopefully. Uh-oh. Yeah. I hate when things don't go right. Mmm. Man, this thing was buttery. Mmm. You can't even see it because it's the sun. It is really bother me. Look at that. Mmm. Mm, so good. Mm-mm. I'm thinking Nadine just gonna make me some hot coffee from home. Or eat some hot chocolate. She bought this um chocolate as an alternative. And it has no caffeine in it, so mm. This is so good right now. Oh my god. You know, I swear people be in slow motion. I don't know what's going on. Mmm. I've been seeing people all morning long with their headphones on and really dancing. They dancing out here early in the morning. How one guy looked like he was about to break down and do the chop chop. It's like, okay. I wonder what he's listening to. Whatever he's listening to, he feels like dancing. 
Mm. Okay. I got two more stops. I just made no one stop that I accomplished that. I'll make another stop. Maybe get the cake. And then hopefully um dream is at the house. I don't got time for people. Sitting up there looking like like trying to hit somebody's freaking car. It's too early for that freaking mess. That's why her car looked like that. Now she wanna slow the freak down because she see my camera up here now. I gotta watch her tell. And she terrible. She literally come all the way in your lane acting like she gonna hit you. Look at her car. Toe up. Now she leaving. Look, look at that. Good. I'm glad she leaving. It make no daggone sense. See, you gotta put your camera on people. I'm telling you. Nadine just bought some lilies. They real pretty. Look at our tulips. They so pretty. I cut them. They gorgeous. And I haven't done the five below pillow haul yet. Gonna work on that. Isn't that cute? Oh my God, you're so cute. So cute. Nadine got the table set up. She got her gift right there. Oh, so cute. Spirit of lights. I feel good this morning because I, I, well, I, don't, I don't feel like I had a hard weekend because I went through something. I'll probably tell y'all about it in the car after we celebrate Dream's birthday. But I went in my bathroom. I was looking at this this morning and these are the water plant beads. And I said, oh yeah, I need to fill that up with some water and give it to Denise. That way when I'll make it in time to uh, like water her in time, the water bead slowly melts. Well, not melts, but the water drains out of it into the plant. I did like an ASMR video on, on, on these bees. I think I did it like in 2016. I know it's a long time ago. But they soak up the, uh, the water. Okay, while that's so, let me show y'all how good Denise is doing. I had to pull out one of her leaves because I had put her in the sun and that leaf had died, but the other one seemed to be undoing okay. I might have to cut them around the uh, rims or something like that. But I gotta show y'all, literally, she's growing two brand new leaves. I'm so happy Denise is doing good. That means that she likes the area that she's in. So I'm gonna keep her out here. Look. Okay, there go a leaf right here. It's all rolled up. She's growing. And then she got another leaf back here. It's right there. It's real small. See it? Yeah, there it go right there. It's real small. But she coming up. So Denise is doing really good. And one of her branches has two leaves, like twins. They together, but then they separate up here. So Denise is doing really, really good. So I got the plant beads. Yeah, I had these since 2016, added water to it. I'm gonna let them soak up the water 
and add her some beads. That way she have them when I can't water her. Yay, Denise is growing. She's happy right here. I promise tomorrow that you're gonna fall out of day. We can tingle it away. I'm here.